So now on my phone because I must not have charged the camera. Oh, Jesus, that is a catch. That is an amazing catch. Good morning, YouTube and the internet. If you look behind me, you'll see that's not the 33. 33 is in fact out here. She's been relegated and she's for sale. She's for sale because I've got this. This is the new car. Um, for anyone who watches my channel will know how I've obtained this car and why. Um, it was my best mate. He passed away in November and the family gave me first option to well, as I was saying before, my camera dropped out, so now I'm on my phone because I must not have charged the camera. Oh, Jesus, that is a catch. That is an amazing catch. Back to the car. Oh, shit, there's no fish eye lens on this one. Um, yeah, so as I was saying, I purchased the car from the family of my best mate. I uh, appreciate the fact they gave me first offer on it. It's currently on the jack because... I've pulled the splitter off because I've got to give it a service and you can't drain the sump with the splitter on. Um, and there's also some other stuff I need to do. Now, I suppose this is fairly unprepared for an introduction to the car. But it'll have to do because I've had a couple of beers watching the Formula 1 and I want to do this now. Well, I, uh, well, I have the time. So, as you can see, it's an R32 GTST. That's a uh, uh, GDR grill, but... It's not a GTR. It's got an RB25 DET Series 2 engine. Um, it has, the light's not very good in here, so you just have to bear with me. It has uh, a custom, which you can't see, a custom high mount manifold, very similar to a six burst, pretty much a copy, um, same style of collector, running up to a Garrett GTX 3076 turbo, which is also hidden under this. It's turbo beanie. You can see we've got a four inch intake, stainless steel to a pod filter. That's nothing special. Uh, what we have on the hot side, the rest of it is, oh, Jesus is very dark. Let me see if I can find a light. Okay, to all torched up. So here's a turbo. This is um, three and a half inch dump pipe. It's running dual um, wastegates for, because it's a GTX, it's a twin scroll um, so dual external wastegates both uh, 40 mil or 50 mil screamers um, they will probably there's a there's a plumb in pipe I don't know if you can see right down the bottom there these can be plumbed in and they will be plumbed in because some of the classes I want to run will have a noise restriction which this will exceed with those it makes the same power on both it's had both on it in the past. You can see this is rat. Uh, there's heat shielding in here. Um, this is the car. If you remember way back, I talked about a car bursting into flames. It was this one. Uh, and it was right here. So this is why all the <laughs> vacuum lines are a heat shield and everything. Everything's been done to try and make sure that uh, that never happens again. Uh, it does still get hot in there, but... You know, what are you going to do? Down here is the actuator for the burst control. Nothing very exciting there if you know what you're looking at. So we have split fire coil packs. Fairly standard for a build like this. 2000 ID injectors. We have a plasma man forward facing throttle body. We have a custom throttle cable that um, we made. And if I hold this torch further back, will I get rid of that circle? Here we go. Um, plasma man throttle body as well running into some custom alley uh, piping cooler piping down into the same plasma man intercooler that I have but uh, it's got the words on it and it's also silver um, so that's two inch out and that's two inch up to three inch at the intercooler and then three inch all the way up to three and a half inch on the intake, 90 millimeters or something like that. Um, what else we have here is 
we have a relocated uh, oil filter location because we also are running an oil cooler this is a power steering cooler um, I'm gonna hold this torch way back because that light makes it look like it's very dark it's kind of dark but it's not that dark we've got a coil radiator uh, thicker coil than standard that is a standard shroud that is a standard clutch driven um, center with a GK Tech fan on it Chinese billet fuel rail because shit it's just carrying fuel um, we've got some stainless braided lines for fuel coming in we have the fuel pressure regulator over there we have an aftermarket brake master cylinder uh, that is I can't remember the brand but it has a particular balance to it we've got a brake stopper here this blue thing obviously a strut brace here I can't remember the branding on that I really see it either um, and all that is controlled by a Haltech, sorry, a Haltech ECU, which is not actually currently in place. It's just sitting in the floor well there. Uh, we've got two Sparco race seats. We've got a Cusco um, bolt-in roll cage. We've got an OMP wheel, deep dish. We've got a stack of Defi gauges. Um, drift button, stripped interior, it has been lightweighted, no back seats, it also normally runs a wing and a splitter, the splitter is over here, it's going to be the first thing I have to work on because the bolts pull through the leading edge, so I'm going to do some stuff, uh, some Chinese canards, which will work, oh, um, R33 GTR Brembo, caliper upgrade, um, dimpled rotors, BCBR, uh, no not BCBR, they are BC uh, something, the one below, BR Coilovs, GK Tech, braided brake lines, uh, stack of aftermarket arms, we've got, um, yeah, most of the arms are aftermarket, I can't be asked getting in there and showing all of them right now, I just wanted to show the car in general. So yeah, I'm not going to start it just now. I have started it today and it started perfectly and it was nice to fire it up. Oh, we've got a carbon fiber bonnet, vented bonnet pins, times two. Uh, so they go on there. Uh, we've got harnesses as well. Six point harness for the driver, four point for the passenger, I think. Yeah, you can't see anything. Is it better off? Nah, it's not better off like So anyway, um, that's pretty much a very brief overview of the car. I don't care about things like wheels on this because this, you know, this is not a show car. It's not for road. Um, there, as you can see. <laughs> so a set of road drift checks. Um, I think they're 17 by nine, something like. That. They're of no real use with those tyres. It's just for driving it on and off that trailer. And also, if I do have to drive it on the street is it for a test drive, I'll get tyres that are road legal and not one of the stacks of semis down the back. There's plenty of wheels down there too. Um, and this is also the garage. So in the last video I said I was moving. I was moving to here for all the space because this is all the shit that effectively came with this car. Some of these tools are mine, but at least half of it is new. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff. That's about it, so soon, well during the week, I'm gonna work on the car. I'm gonna do the splitter uh, as a priority. I'm gonna give the car once over, give it a service, oil change, that sort of thing. Um, and the reason why I had to do all that, let me just do this. So I'm sorry if this is a bit low resy because this is the uh, selfie side of the camera. So I can see what's in the background of the shot. Um, basically, I've entered the car into the Japnats, which is on in four weeks, more or less. Um, so I've got to have the car ready for that. Um, so I had to start working on the car. I wasn't particularly ready to 
do like a reveal thing or, or do anything special. I did want to do a bit more of a, you know, grindy ass intro for the car and that, but I was sitting there after the Formula 1 thinking, well, i got five minutes and I'm going to be working on the car a lot this week, trying to get it ready. Um, which is harder than you think, because when you're filming what you do, everything you do takes 30-40% longer. Then you've got less time because you've also got to then sit there, dump all your footage on your PC, edit it, and, and then actually upload it. All of those things take quite a substantial amount of time. So they eat into your car time, and I, I sort of don't let it do that. I'll work on the car rather than work on the videos. Ideally, in most scenarios, some cases I might have a trade-off, but in most cases I'll work on the car first. But I figured I needed to do this because then I'll have, because uh, I'm not going to put this up this week. Well, I'll put it up this week now, um, probably on Friday next, yeah, Friday coming, uh, which means I'll have some footage that I've worked on the car to edit over next weekend. And then I'll have, you know, like just a, a few days worth of backlog footage on um, on hand. So that way I can I can sort of keep the content coming. I will not um, sacrifice working on the car for content. But I'll try and keep it up as, as best I can. So yeah, that's the car. Yeah, and over the next week I'll be working on that. Ducking under all the low beams in my garage. No doubt I'll smack my head on a few. I've already done that a couple of times. Um... And yeah, I'll get this thing ready to roll at Jap Nats and defend his title. So I just realised like an idiot that uh, I never told any uh, about, I never bothered mentioning how much power it made. So I've got the dyno sheets there. Um, I will have to go and refresh my memory, but I'm pretty sure it was uh, 430 rear wheel horsepower at 21 PSI, about 400 at 19 PSI. Um, which is what it should be running at. It should be set to run at 19 PSI at the moment. Uh, my mate had dabbled in uh, how to adjust the tune and did adjust the tune accordingly to, to try and keep the engine alive longer. Uh, unfortunately, we have our suspicions that the compression is dropping and it's starting to get a bit of blow-by. It's not the end of the world, but uh, probably in the next 18 months it's going to want a new engine. I do have two engine blocks, two heads, apart from those, that one in there, or that one in there, um, to build an engine out of, uh, but for the time being I just got to get this thing over there, so it makes plenty of horsepower, that's at the wheels, um, oh, it's also got a, it's got the same diff ratio as mine, as the 33, I keep referring to this as not mine, which I have to get used to, um, because, well, it is now. It's just a, just something I'm going to have to deal with. Um, but yeah, she's um, she doesn't just look good, she goes proper fast, and I fully expect to um, hopefully win the performance class at Japnats, and... Um, and then improve the car further from there, see what I can do with it. 